Current Boutique. Thank you for joining us tonight. I have Elizabeth from District of Chic with me, and we are talking about Fourth of July style. So I am so excited about your picks. These are beautiful. But before we dive into those, I just want to learn a little bit more about your background, sure. what inspired you to start blogging. So when did you get started and what inspired you to start? Um, I think I, well, I know I started back in 2008, but I was thinking about it and where I started and it was, I think, on Fab Sugar. if ah, you guys know that website. Yes. <laughs> like they had a forum or a widget or something where you could post your oh, looks. Widgets. I know, good old widgets. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that a bunch of bloggers that you guys are probably familiar with, we started there, like Rumi Neely was posting her outfits, and I know, good old fashion toes, who's still around, I know, and still gorgeous. very successful, and um, Zanita Whittington was another person, so we were posting our outfits there, and then a bunch of people just started making their blogs off of it, and just being like, oh, come stop by my blog and see my outfits, so I, I did too, it. and it's been like, I got into it because I loved like all the underground labels that I found out about and people had really cool DIYs and it was like a fun way to play around in your closet with what you already have and do cool updated things with them. So that's Absolutely. what I when I started. <laughs> yeah. 2008. What an accomplishment. <laughs> okay. So I feel like blogging and fashion blogging has changed so much. Yes, definitely. What do you think have been the biggest changes in the last five years? I mean, the biggest, I mean, it's expanded expo exponentially for sure. It's like totally ballooned. So there's so many new people that I keep coming across. I mean, Instagram's another big one that's changed Huge. it. I think people are probably using Instagram more to get their, you know, outfit inspiration than they did for blogs. So the platform has mm -hmm. completely changed. And another thing would be monetization. Yeah, I mean, that is for the amount of effort that people put into their blogs, I mean, they're basically like part-time and full-time jobs. So they are. it makes sense that people should get paid for it, for sure. On the other hand, I think that it, you know, it can, it can stifle creativity a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you're kind of thinking about, oh, is this gonna be something that somebody is gonna wanna buy? You're kind of like a salesperson. So, yeah. you know, you start to see a lot of the same pieces on Instagram and whatever, but at the same time, I have stumbled across so many cool, interesting bloggers, like, all the time. Like, one that I was just thinking about was uh, Icon Accidental. She is a professor at Columbia, and um, I think she's over 60. I hate to quote people's ages, but yeah. <laughs> I think that she is, and she's got the most incredible style and does really cool, creative things, so... And I met you I across know. the Instagrams Hooray. as well. So it's like, yeah, I just keep finding more and more cool people. That exactly. No, I inspire me. So absolutely, so much inspiration, so many creative people mm -hmm. who are connecting like-minded folks that would not have found each other. Yes. yes. So I love where it's going. Yeah. And but I do agree that a lot of the times you are seeing a lot of the same trends again mm -hmm. and again. Yeah. So there are some huge ones that are happening on Instagram and just in general. Yes. What are your favorite summer trends? Uh -huh. And if you have one, maybe one of your not sure. so favorite. I mean, I love that big sleeves are still a thing, oh. as evidenced by what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I'm so into the big sleeve. Yes, I that has been one of my favorite trends, so I'm fully embracing it, have not given it up. And then I love big earrings, also, <laughs> what I'm wearing right now. When you have short hair like me, it's like, oh, yeah. you kind of want your earrings to show. So Absolutely. Yeah, so I love big earrings, love mules and slides like they're super comfortable and practical and I have a lot of crazy shoes so <laughs> it's like really nice to have yeah. some practical ones that I can walk around in and oh you definitely know. yeah a lot of like sitting only yes. shoes <laughs> I have a lot of you sitting know, only shoe shoes, shoes. Yes. <laughs> yeah so I feel like I'm growing up <laughs> yeah and any any trends that you're like mm, maybe not so much yeah I mean I've never been into like kind of the sweaters and the t-shirts with like writing on them you know I mean it's just never I mean with a few exceptions but for the most yeah. part that's just not my style yeah but um I think that's probably the biggest one that I can think of that I haven't fully embraced <laughs> yeah exactly. I think the summer trends this year are really on point they're yeah really good. they're yeah, really good for sure all right, so th speaking of summer, yeah. summer trends, summer plans, we do have 4th of July coming up, and 
what will you be doing and uh-huh. what will you be wearing? Um, I'm going to be going to the beach with some of my friends and their families, Perfect. so there's going to be kids involved. And <laughs> so I'm bringing a lot of sundresses because I definitely need things I can just throw on and I don't have to assemble an outfit when I'm chasing a small toddler. So <laughs> that's like a big one for me. Another thing actually that I really like is this whole trend of kind of wearing your bathing suit like a top. like. You know, I'm like so body suits, body suits, and like bra tops are like a big thing. So it's kind of cool to be able to do that with your bathing suit. Like, I'm bringing like shorts to wear with like my one piece bathing suits yeah. and like jeans and skirts and things like that. But then like you know, with your bikinis, you can wear like a like see through sweater or something like that or a top and like you know, you can do awesome. fun things with bathing suits. So absolutely, yeah. I love it. Well, that sounds like a blast. Yeah. I'm sure you would look absolutely beautiful as usual. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> All right. So we have a lot of beautiful 4th of July options here. Yes, we so definitely do. All of these are available in the red, white, and blue section or the white party section of currentboutique.com. So Elizabeth was kind enough to pick out some of her favorites. And it was hard to choose. There was a lot of really good stuff on there. So Check it out. I could have picked a lot more than this. <laughs> So let's get started with these, kind of how you would style them to make them festive, um, and then maybe how you would style them kind of beyond for Sure. All right, so we got this gorgeous white dress. Yeah, so this is really cool. It's like asymmetrical, which I'm always a big fan of. I, it's David Meister, 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 Meister. Meister. <laughs> and I mean, I kind of liked that it had kind of like a 70s sort of vintage vibe to yeah. it. So I think you could do it with some like really cool like strappy red sandals if mm-hmm. you wanted to go the patriotic route. Obviously, there's any number of metallic heels that you could pair it Absolutely. with when it's not. So that that'll be a really fun one, I think, for a fun fancy party. This one, I think, is part of your guys' like, in-house collection, right? right? It's current collection. And I yeah. love the tie on it. This little loop tie is really cool. Right? So, like, vintage, like, yeah. in the 70s vibes. I love it. Anything vintage, basically. Vintage vibes, you'll see a trend here for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this would be a really cool barbecue outfit for sure. And you could wear it with flats and maybe, like, a big sort of, like, beaded necklace or something like that really cool straw bag. Any mm. sort of straw bag would look awesome with this because like I'm obsessed with straw bags right now. So yeah. that would be a good one. This is cool. This is Club Monaco, right? Yeah, Club Monaco. And I love the length on this. This is like kind of like a midi sort of length, I think. And I really, I think that you could you could actually pair it with these really cool platform sandals, yeah, which are great. Sergio Rossi, which is nice. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that I love wearing like big platforms with like a slightly longer um, length. Mm -hmm. So that would be really cool. I mean, and then obviously you could wear this with any sort of cool metallic shoe to like glam it up for other occasions. But I love what you're doing with your 4th of July style because instead of it being like over the top 4th of July, it's like these little metallic details that that make you think about fireworks and then a great (laughs) sundress that you can just wear for the rest of the summer. Yeah. Oh, and it has a cross. I think it crosses in the back, which is really pretty. Which is such a nice detail. Yes. So then there's also this one, which kind of has like a little bit of a mod vibe to it. So I would wear this with kitten heels for sure. And like, I love those little like shiny raffia bags. Those could be really cool with this. Or like one of those little, like a cute clutch would be awesome. So this is like a little bit more sophisticated. I don't know if you're mm-hmm. going to like a work party, oh, maybe that's right. top of the weather. I don't know, something <laughs> fancy like that. You want to just look really sophisticated, I guess. Together. That would be a good one. This one, also a good barbecue look if you want to pair it with white jeans. Mm-hmm. You could easily do it with these really cool mules. This is Nanette Lepore, I think, right? Yes. That's, that's really pretty, and I love the stripes on it. But then you could pair it with these awesome Burberry mules that are denim, and I have a I have a fetish for denim shoes. So <laughs> these are so I really easy. Like. Just mm-hmm. slide them on and off, which is perfect if you're going somewhere where there's grass. Yeah, okay, just slide off. Yeah, I and these would be awesome with pretty much anything. So any true. day of the week, Burberry <laughs> ha- has that effect. It does. <laughs> 
So, oh, and then the last one is this awesome dress, which is very like 60s, like glamorous. And believe it or not, it's actually BCBG of all things. And I love this detail up here. So you could do that with some fancy flats if you wanted to for kind of like a a fancier party. I and love it. yeah, but still practical. So perfect. Cool. And then my oh. favorite pick yes. is this gorgeous Fendi bag, curryboutique.com. But Ooh. and the de like I love this like sort of like fabric detail on the exactly. side. It's like fancy, but it's also kind of casual, which is really cool. Which is perfect for mm -hmm. some sort of like 4th of July barbecue and it just gives you that little like hint of navy yes. to make it festive. Yes. I love that bag. I do too. Well, I love it. I love these picks. Absolutely beautiful. And, you know, I think for any of these, it's kind of like, okay, go ahead, put something red, put something, you know, yeah. blue with them and then you can always make it more neutral to carry these on past 4th of July. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, now while we were doing that, we did have the opportunity to get a few audience questions. All right, cool. so Elizabeth, let me get your take on these. Okay. So for 4th of July fashion, is it cheesy to wear American flag prints on 4th of July? What do you think? I mean... What's the chic answer? <laughs> the chic answer, personally, I I think you'd be hard pressed to find, I mean, if you wanted to be a little tongue in cheek, you, know, right. you could go <laughs> Miley Cyrus, I don't know oh, what, but I, I don't think I would be able to pr pull it off personally. <laughs> I'm kind of not a fair, fan of going like full on American flag. <laughs> it makes me think of like limited, I think, from oh, like the 90s. Yeah, so. yeah. Tommy Hilfiger vibes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so also, you know, there's all different types of events happening. Yes. What would you wear to a fancy barbecue? I mean, definitely that dress would be an awesome one. It's like very, very glamorous, but at the same time, it's a little, it's a little dressed down. It's not like the fanciest fabric in the world, so it could definitely pass for a barbecue. Yeah. And I mean, I think the bag, you know, you can totally change up the bag with it. You could do a straw bag and you know, some shiny heels. You could you could do a really cool tote with it if you wanted to dress nice. it down more. If you wanted to make it dressier, you could do a cool clutch, so. Very nice. Yeah. All right, and then, so you know, DC weather's crazy. It's yes. kind of crazy <laughs> everywhere. So if you're going to this event, it's gonna be 90 degrees all day, but then it's gonna be mid 60s at night. How yeah. would you dress to transition from that sweltering heat to kind of a cool evening? I mean, with that, you could wear a really, cute like cropped uh, denim jacket. White mm -hmm. denim I think would also be equally nice with that. So I mean can't go wrong with denim. I mean Ever. denim jacket I think is a staple everyone should have in their closet. Always. You can throw it on anything especially in the summertime and for 4th of July. So. Yeah I have one in every color <laughs> as it should be. Yes. All right well Thank you so much, Elizabeth. That will wrap it up for us for our 4th of July style with Elizabeth from District of Chic. You can check her out at districtofchic.com or on Instagram at District of Chic. Check us out, Current Boutique, and it is at current underscore boutique. And of course, all of these picks are available on currentboutique.com. And we wish you a very happy 4th. Thank you. Thank you.